Well, what's up, everybody? Aubrey with a Y here, and we are talking about the story uh, that is blowing up college football and the story that is breaking the hearts of Sooner fans like myself. Lincoln Riley leaving OU to go to USC in literally one day, my friends, one day. That's what they say, one day, but we don't really know. So I want to give you a Sooner's perspective that hopefully is a little more than mean words <laughs> and heartbreak. But looking at the situation, some things that I have learned from this situation or am learning or have learned in the past, maybe there's a there's a silver lining in this thing. I think oh, you'll be okay. I think Bob Stoops is amazing. <laughs> But there's also some things that I think we can learn in the way that we live our life. And here's the first thing I want to say to you is that time is on your side. What do you mean, Aubrey? Time's not on my side. I'm getting older every day. You know, I, I, I don't mean it that way. I mean, what's crazy about this whole thing is how fast it happened, right? Like it was like, we just lose the biggest game that we've lost in a long time. And then literally within 12 hours, our coach is leaving and going, and then within 24 hours, he's landed and taking pictures and doing press conferences for another team. Like time is on your side. And I think that's what is so hard for a lot of people is how fast this whole thing happened or how fast this whole thing is portrayed to have happened. Time is on your side. I want you to think about that and, and, and remember that when it comes to the way that we live our lives. A lot of the times we feel pressure to make decisions or we feel pressure, but allow time to work for you. Here's a few things I wrote down about time is don't make major decisions when you're emotional. What's crazy about this thing and makes me really question it is that we had just lost literally the biggest loss of Lincoln Riley's head coaching career at Oklahoma. We had just lost that. I, I can't I can't imagine making a decision like that with that much heartbreak. I mean, he was clearly in the post game. I mean, clearly he was lying about some stuff, but but I think there was genuine heartbreak, like genuine, like oh man. That and, and then all of a sudden, within twelve hours, you're going to if it happened the way they say it happened. Within twelve hours, you've made the decision to go to another program and leave that that's not smart don't make major decisions when you are emotional sometimes we have traumatic things or we have things like the pandemic that that shut everything down and then we come out of that and we want to make major decisions realize what triggers you realize that when you're emotional don't make major decisions time is on your side everything has a season emotions have a time frame and emotions don't last forever in fact it's funny when we talk about the scale of things you know are you angry are you depressed i posted this and somebody put on facebook like i'm still at the anger stage <laughs> you know? and that's cool like i get it and i fluctuate in and out like this is crazy but understanding that everything has a season that emotions have a time frame there are very few times where abrupt or impulsive decisions are wise in your life now and you could say well Aubrey you know I think you have two times in your entire life when you have to make a decision like this that can change the trajectory of your life I agree 100% with you but most of the time when it seems abrupt like that it has been so prepared for before the situation ever came that they were already prepared to make the decision. It, it, it wasn't like, oh, I got to make it this split second, which makes me wonder and, and makes it a little bit harder to believe that, that this was a 12, ha all happened in 12 hours. You know, you don't just make a decision like that in 12 hours. So even what seems like abrupt often is not abrupt. It, it's been thought out. It's been prepared for there. You know, so what seems like it just came your way. Uh, I don't know. I think this has been happening for a while. Let's see what you guys think. So I see somebody saying, go biblical, bro. <laughs> I'm going biblical on Lincoln Riley. There might be mean words said during this because, like I said, I fluctuate on the scale just like everybody else, and I'm kind of ticked the way he, he, he left it, uh, which is something else that I wrote down here that I want to share is moving on happens, but if possible, don't burn the bridges. If you've lived long enough, you know that things change. If things have never changed for you, you've never lived. <laughs> like Things will change. In fact, I'm kind of at a point now where I can say, and some of, some of us may not be at this point yet, but I'm at a point now where I can like kind of understand the decision that he made. I, I can understand like 
Bob Stoops is a hero to us, but Bob Stoops is a hero because he took a flailing uh, program and returned it to its greatness, right? And then he hands the reins off all graciously and rides off in the sunset. And then we called him back. <laughs> he rides off in the sunset and hands it to Lincoln Riley. Well, I can see Lincoln Riley honestly looking at USC and saying like, I don't want to be the Lincoln Riley anymore. I want to be the Bob Stoops. Like, I want to take a, a flailing program and restore it back to its glory. And one day I'll hand it off to some superstar and ride off into the sunset, right? I can understand that. I can understand that moving on happens. But what I don't understand and what we, I hope we can learn from this is that when you move on, that's okay. But do not burn the bridges. Like, don't just burn the whole thing down, you know? Even if it's a bad situation, you can leave with integrity and, and leave graciously. The reality is, is you can even do the hard things with integrity. So as hard as it is to move on from a program, I, I tend to think that he genuinely cared. You know, the tears that he choked back in the USC press conference. I think it was real, like a realization of like, oh, crap, <laughs> you know, like these people were good to me. But what I wrote down here is that you can do hard things when they're done with integrity. Something that my wife and I have adopted because the last, gosh, 10 years, we have, there, there was a 10 year period of our life where we moved four or five times into different cities and to different places and and it was, we all, we felt like it was always God. It wasn't like we were running from anything or anything like that. And we kind of just adopted the saying, like, live like you're going to be there forever, but don't be shocked if you're not, <laughs> you know? And, and that allowed us to fully invest with where we're at, but not be like destroyed if, if we weren't there forever. And I think there's a little bit of that that we all have to adopt is that there will be times when you move on from things, but like do it the right way. Do it with integrity. But something else that I was thinking about is one of the crazy things and why we all love Bob Stoops is because he got up there and said, I'm a program guy. No one person is bigger than the program. And I love that. And that's challenging to me as I lead the things that I lead is like, Am I, what I'm building, is it built around me and what I offer or am I building it around, hey, this thing can go beyond me. And it's clear that, um, and I don't even know if it was intentional that Lincoln Riley did that. I just think he's so gifted at offense and offensive coordinator and he's so celebrated in that that I think that became the focus as opposed to to what Oklahoma is, it became Lincoln Riley's brilliance and what he's done with quarterbacks. And, and I hope we still continue to do that because that's really awesome. But I think there will be more of an awareness of like, let's not make it about this. Let's remember that it's about the program. It's about the tradition. It's about the people whose shoulders that we stand on. And so that's something that I've learned. Thank you for spending time with us and watching through this video all the way to the end. You're the real hero. I would love and it would mean a lot to me if you would like and you would subscribe and uh, keep up with all the videos that are coming out. Thank you for being with us. Aubrey with a Y. Goodbye.